My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. We have the opportunity today to step inside a lesson with Shriya Muparaju, one of our favorite young players who's a junior in high school. Shriya is one of the better young women in the country right now, and she's really working hard at getting speed at the bottom of her swing. So you're going to have a chance today to see some of the techniques we use to get her to crack that whip at the bottom, pick up a little bit more speed, which also stabilizes that club face through impact. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Now, one of the things I'll tell you that we get into, and this has always been a thing, so come, come, over, come over in front of me, out behind Gabe over there. We talked about this line right here, right? Mm -hmm. If we spin with the hips, we're already ahead of it, and there's nowhere to go. We don't want to sway, because then we're going to have to laterally move back, and we lose speed there and don't contact the ball correctly as well. We want to load this hip moving perpendicular to the target, correct? Now you can see I'm loaded into this right side behind the golf ball and I can make a good push into the back of the ball. That's where the speed's gonna come from, not from, it's like a baseball player leaning in like this, gonna, you know, not gonna happen, right? Or throwing a punch with your weight already forward. So let's do a good job loading so that we can move into the ball a little better, okay, Shreya? Another way to say that is turning behind the golf ball. Here's the back of the ball. We're turning behind the golf ball. If you can do that, you're gonna put it all together here, okay? Hop on in here. That was the best one of the day right there. I think I can go faster too. I know, I, bet, I know you can. That was, that was way better right there though. Oh, man, was up here. Adam, is it normal for people when they're when they're trying to get this type of feel for them to hit it a little bit more thin sometimes because their hands are a little bit, the clubs Absol a little higher? Absolutely, because we're trying to descend so much farther that way. Mm -hmm. I always talk about I always talk about how there's a professional thin shot and there's an amateur thin shot. Mm. The amateur thin shot, here's the golf ball. The amateur thin shot could be chunked mm -hmm. or bladed, right? Mm -hmm. Because the, they bottom out behind it, the low points back here, and then it either hits the ground or it raises up into the middle of the golf ball, leaving like no margin for error, right? Mm -hmm. But right now, we have more of the professional thin shot because we're actually descending so much that the golf ball sometimes gets struck first because she truly is trying to attempt mm -hmm. to swing ahead of it. So it's okay, that's why I'm not really mm -hmm. bummed when she hits the thin shot because you know what? we're taking heavy out of play and we're taking left out of play by getting that low point further past the ball. How was that, Sharia? That sounded good. Yeah, it that sounded was, yeah. much yeah. better. I didn't see it, I just... I, I was back here missing I heard it, yeah. That. Yeah, but it was good. <laughs> it sounded good. <laughs> Sharia has that problem too. She's broken four drivers this year. It swings, swings too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Adam. How good is that golf swing? There we swing? go. Isn't that just beautiful? It's amazing. It really is. It's such a nice golf oh, swing. She's got it right in such there. a good position. What, what, what we love about Shreya's swing so much, though, and I'll just kind of put this out there, is she's worked so hard on just having the right setup, good setup to play golf underneath her, presetting the spine angle she'd like to have that throughout the entire swing. But what I love about her swing right now is we have it so on plane going back. She hits what we call checkpoint one, club down the line of the feet parallel to the ground. If I just turn back to the golf ball, it's already square on the right path. She sets it perfectly just to the inside edge of the golf ball and really turns it up there as connected as we've seen her at the top with her lead arm matching her shoulder plane. So really, Shreya, you've done such a good job now. We're in a position here where we can go as hard as we'd like to at the golf ball and there needs to be no manipulation. The thing is that gets tough about that is sometimes one thing wants to go ahead of the other. We just have to do a good job 
of sequencing that and making sure it all happens together, right? But you're doing a great job. I think I'm close. You are close. I think your swing's beautiful too. It just looks great. We just gotta just keep making it more comfortable every day. Just a great setup though. She has great rehearsals, so it makes me feel good when my player rehearses it correctly because I know I know she knows what she needs to do. It's just a matter of doing it. That was a great swing too. How does it make you feel when the player goes from being half as tall as you to as tall as you? <laughs> so yeah, we gotta get we'll get we'll get a we'll get a picture. We'll get we'll get we'll get. I can bring the photo in next. Yeah, time. I got it too. Okay. So I'm literally kneeling down, like teeing her ball up and talking to her. And I'm like, this and her head, she's standing straight up, and her head's right there, <laughs> and not so much anymore. <laughs> My goal is to beat him. Yeah, there we go. Just trying to get the putting contest victories, let alone that. just inside, uh, in, in between the bunker and the, uh, the pin, and it's a little two-yard draw there, which is perfect, so. And if you ever want the most authentic, unbelievable Indian food, <laughs> mom is the most unbelievable <laughs> chef. I'm telling you, like, yeah. Patty I, over there making a little uh, yeah, guest no, appearance. I'm gonna be honest with you, like my wife oh, and I have yeah. been craving it since oh, the last time gosh. we went, and it's, it's just it's so good. good. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, here we go. Yep. Head turning behind. I want to see you turn behind the golf ball here. Okay, I do a good okay. job of that. See, every time you do a good job turning behind the ball, mm -hmm. everything catches up with you on the way through, and it's just, it's really good. It's just, I think the only mistake that we were seeing earlier with the thin shot was not just the attempt to swing ahead of it, was when the head moved forward and the hips kind of spun forward this way, everything was ahead of the ball, and you know better not to back up. So you stayed forward and you used to send it right into the middle of the golf ball, loading behind it, moving into it. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's the best first I've seen. Yeah, period. Mm. There we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful right there. Um, how different is the divot now? I know. I was watching that too. <laughs> From when I the bottom of her swing is so much harder. Right here. So we we all understand that, right? We we understand that when that club descends, right? When it when it when it descends, and the ball's here, right? And you have the low point of the swing past the golf ball. Nobody's having the shaft lean forward and also turning that club face. That's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. It would typically when the shaft is dragging forward like that and you're seeing the descent this way, not only are you have a better angle of attack, which is going to compress the golf ball more, but you're also going to have that low point over here, better contact, right? So it stabilizes the club face and keeps it to the target longer. Whereas anything that comes in like this, it not only does it hit it heavy or thin, but it also can turn the face over and hit it left. So that's why you see a lot of golfers who, who chunk the golf ball. They also have the chunk left, like the chunk hooks, right? Those things look like this, you know? And there's a couple reasons why that would happen. Disconnection in the backswing leads to try to catch up, or how about my body being ahead of it before I even start my downswing? That would be a way I need to catch up. Or how about just out racing it with rotation or lateral movement? Those are two ways also that the golf club won't have the proper angle of attack. But here's the thing, regardless of what you do wrong, it doesn't change what you need to do right. I always tell you that. So my mentor told me that. I love that I love that advice in golf. What you need to do right is we always need to be connected. We always need to be turning behind the ball, transitioning together mm -hmm. so that we can have that motion through impact and we're not trying to manipulate it through impact, correct? That's that's what we're looking for. You're doing a good job though. That low point's past the ball. Let's do Mike, here's a good one. We can do it on the sand right here, ready for this? Draw a little line. You know, and you'd be surprised. Everybody who takes these swings first try always is bottoming out back there. Right? Just that that feeling alone right there and being able to see that, that's gonna be a lot later of a release. So once again, that's this look. And that ball hangs right here, and then it snaps. 
But obviously if we just release that at all, so yeah, ball just goes straight down to the ground. It's cool visual. Let me drive into this one, okay? Is that all I have to say for you to hit it great? <laughs> I'm, I mean, that's just get a little bit of energy in there. Did you see that ball? That ball flew literally 10 yards past the other ones that we hit today too. That was a fantastic swing. But you know what's funny about it? Less shots on the range, which I know is not hard for you. Thank you. But just the quality of it, the energy you put into it. We're, everything we're talking about today needs a good level of energy uh, getting into each shot. You gotta be kind of psyched about the next shot you're gonna hit. Good load. Drive into it. Oh, man. Hey, let's just take note. We have that on film. I just said nothing really technical, but I just tried to put an energy out there. I think it's a real thing. People can believe it, people can't, but I'm telling you right now, I've watched enough golf to tell you that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just the, the way that I say, hey, let's make this the no, best I shot agree. of the day. It's, you know, no, there's, some, there's a lesson there that beyond mm -hmm. just what happened on those two shots. Mm -hmm. Those were definitively the best shots of the day. That's kind of that, in your pre-shot routine, you're behind that golf ball. All right, here we go, best swing of the day. It's just building up that confidence before you walk in. All right, here we go, I'm gonna do a good job turning behind the ball, I'm gonna really get into this one. And it just gets like a certain energy. No, I think I've been doing that more too, like during competition, like saying stuff like that to myself before I hit it. You know, it's um, really helped. I love that. I'm so happy to hear you say that because one of the best moments I had when I was a junior playing in a, I was contending in an AJG event and I'd worked with a sports psychologist to, um, to really amuse myself. That was actually the terms they used, like amuse yourself, like <laughs> actually get out there. And, you know, you should almost have a moment where you kind of laugh at yourself because you're taking it, you know, I was just in the moment and I was like, okay, here we go. All right, dude, you're going to knock this close. And I'm kind of like, huh laughing at my own mm. self-talk, right? Mm -hmm. But it just released the tension. And then I was really, there was no thought of failure or any fear of what could happen in my mind other than I'm just trying to make this great. Mm. And, 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 it, and it, it, was, it's a, it was a defining moment and really helped me a lot with my, mm -hmm. when I was playing young, yeah, the tournaments yeah. at a younger age. I think the most thing that I say to myself is like what Mike told me, like before I have like a chip shot, like it's gonna be a great up and down. He always told me that. Always. I love that. And it's so simple, but it makes mm -hmm. so much sense, right? Oh, yeah. It's, just, it's awesome. Well, it's like you walk into the test. Man, this is... I'm, I'm really bummed about this test. I'm going to do awful. It just adds a whole other level yeah. of tension that you don't need, right? But when you walk into it and you're like, you know what? I'm going to kill this thing today. It's going to be great. It's going to be an awesome mm -hmm. day. Yeah. It and when changes. I say those things to myself, like nine times out of ten, oh, it's like more likely like I'm going to do what I say. Absolutely. Said. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful swing. You know, it's um, my father used to always give me a hard time about the power of positive thinking. He said he used those words all the time. He looked at me and they go, Adam, the power of positive thinking, the power of positive thinking. And I, at a young age, all the way up until about 20, <laughs> said, <laughs> right dad sure yeah like okay and then I got older and then I started realizing when I played wow it really helped mm -hmm. but when I started teaching and seeing all of you and and actually being on the bag for so many of your great tournaments and so many of my players great terms and then seeing in lessons or, or on the golf course and playing lesson just the way that we talk to you mm -hmm. not even technical just telling you something positive mm -hmm. changing the energy it's amazing how that steps up the level of play. Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's no doubt that the best in the world put themselves in that place often, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, super cool. I love Not it. even golf, but like in real life, like the faster you figure that out, the more successful like you're gonna be. And that's why- We're getting deep right now. That, and that's why we love you, Shri, because you know what? This one, like I said, she's family. She's been around us a lot and that- The winning mentality. It's the right winning, it's, and, and thank you, Mike. That is the winning mentality. The winning mentality, not something to teach. Mm -hmm. yeah. every, every day is a win. That, that swing like right there right is a big, there. a big win. And this is going to be especially cool because you're actually going to see the imprint of my foot and where it goes, okay? So we're doing four quadrants. We have quadrant one, we have two, we have three, and we have four. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm gonna step right in there. And right in here. At the top. At the takeaway. I'm in quadrant one, right? Mm -hmm. At the top. You can see definitively right there where that pressure went, right? Mm -hmm. Notice one thing then. It's never getting off the outside of my front foot. And I'm not saying that to pull you forward. Mm -hmm. I'm just helping you understand that there's a definitive anchor point there. And when the body turns over the instep of the back foot, it's applying pressure downward into that right instep back into the heel. So to answer your question perfectly, when I get in here, Tria, it's all right in here. Like in my mind, okay? Mm -hmm. This would be the spin that would pull it to the front foot. This would be the sway that would pull it to the outside of the foot. This would be the load that loads it right into that heel. Okay. okay. And that's something that I want you to get, you know, get good at seeing right there. So let's hop back in there again and give that a try. And, and here's the thing. To me, that's not necessarily a swing thought as much as it is. I'm going to rehearse it perfectly every time with that feeling, right? And then you just get there in the swing and there's no thought process of what it is that you're trying to do necessarily with the weight. I don't like having the swing. Think about that too much no, during swing. No, I was just swing. checking. Was yeah. Going... Oh, Hello. my goodness. By the way, it was ever since I just said, hey, can you just please hit the best shot of the day right now for me? Ever since then, the, le the lesson are, went, up, went up a whole other level of quality with, 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 with the swings that she's making. Was that at the same time I got here? No. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, I, you know, we'd like to give Pity a little bit of credit, but not on this one. It was all positive energy. There was Pity brings that energy though to the table. There's no doubt. Yeah. There, no doubt he was a part. You were a part of it. It was like one of the dominoes that had to fall into place to make it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a difference between getting a compliment from Adam and from Mike because Mike has been hard on me for the past five years. So when I get a compliment from Mike, I know I'm doing. Something you know you're doing something good. <laughs> that's nice to hear, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. I actually like that about him. That's part of having great success. You know, we're just so lucky we have such great golf families. You know, the ability to take it serious, but the ability to also have a lot of fun. Mm. It is just absolutely such an essential to, uh, to playing better golf. And mm -hmm. we're, we're, we don't want people to come here and feel like they're having to simply just work and it's arduous task. It's, it's, no, you're working, you're getting better. We're gonna talk about what you need to, but we wanna really have a good time. You know, it just makes it so much more, I think that's in anything, you know, any workplace, any environment, school, you have a class, you know, I remember we had certain classes. I had a Spanish teacher that just was awesome. Yeah, guy, I still remember him. Professor Wagenfeld, profe we used to call him. And I, it was unbelievable. You walk into class, just the level of energy the guy would bring every day. You're like, hey, let's learn Spanish today, mm -hmm. you know? Other classes, you're like, oh, man. We hope you guys enjoyed our session with Shreya. What a fantastic golfer. We're just trying to give her a little more speed at the bottom of her swing. So if you guys have questions on how to get that speed as well, looking for drills, looking for go-to exercises, please write a comment below, write a question. We'd be more than happy to get back to you. Click the link in our description and pick up your free video course. Thank you guys so much.